So this is the, the watch I wear now. Um, it's a Samsung Galaxy Sport. And I, I got the strap on, on Amazon and, oops, there we go. Um, and it's a digital watch. It's, it's very different from any watch I ever had before. Yeah, but this is my other watch. Okay. This is the watch that I bought about, when, when did I buy this? I bought this in 2007, I think it was. 2000, 2007, 2008. And um, it's a, a tag. Um, so if anyone, if you, if you know much about Swiss watches, the tag comes from a canton called Neuchâtel in the French-speaking part of Switzerland, um, where my good friend Derek comes from. Um, you may have seen him in previous videos. Um, and it's a beautiful watch. It's, it, it suited me at the time. It's a sports watch. It's an, an aqua racer chronograph. Um, I got it back, I think it was 2007 or 2008, just before the financial crisis, when I actually had money back then <laughs> and um, and I don't know I guess I got it because you know I've always loved watches and I've always loved Swiss watches um, and to be honest with you this purchase was very much about status at the time I was a young guy I wanted to show people that I owned a nice watch so I think it was basically when I became unemployed Suddenly I left my industry. Suddenly I was no longer working in the financial sector. And that was probably what changed me. It changed my kind of need to wear one of these. You know, like, you know, who was I trying to prove myself to? Who was I trying to show off to? No one. You know, I was this unemployed guy who, um, who decided to you know, start up his own business and start becoming a freelancer. And, Suddenly, you know, my whole life at that moment in time changed. I was this kind of digital person and I wanted to be more digital. I was really getting into social media. I was writing, I was creating content. And this suddenly felt a lot more like me than that. But the thing is, I don't know whether or not I've still lost my love for these watches because they're still beautiful. And I want to go to find out today if there might be a possibility that I might change my mind. Everywhere I go, they bite my style. When I put on a show, they bite my style. See me on the screen, they bite my style. They want to be like me. Cut up jeans, kicks are clean. Roll up to the spot, they say to me. So uh, it's evening now, the sun has set, uh, and Zurich is looking particularly beautiful. Give me some of that fire. <laughs> So here I am. Hey, how's it going? Thank you so much. Pleasure. Welcome. So, this is Daniel. Welcome. Welcome this in is, my this, paradise. This is it's the many... most incredible place I've yes, it's ever a, seen. We are number one in TripAdvisor in Zurich on shopping. People love our place. And I'm, it's the it's the man's world of Zurich. It sure is. I mean, look at this place. I mean, it's. We have the biggest collection of watch straps all in Zurich, wow. in Switzerland, maybe in Europe. Six, six days. Six days. Six days. We are open. We uh, work not on hours. We work on days, and we are passionate people. And I'm since 34 years in this business. I started with no money and no new knowledge, and I learned all by myself. Never worked for any other comp company. Give me some of that fire. Give me some of that fire. Give me some of that fire. How did you start? How I 
got started. As a watchmaker, what, what, how did you... I, mean... I made 10 years of promotion watches okay. uh, for companies. Wow. And uh, if you come next time, I'll show you my museum. Okay. I made uh, for Brazil, I made 100,000 watches a year. A hundred thousand watches. watches yeah, but cheaper, cheaper watches. Not the same, yes. Yeah. And then uh, after ten years, I said, now I know the business. I want to go higher in the grade. Of wow. Movements and everything. And how about the watches here? I mean, how did you, how did you make? It's uh, you know, step by step by step. Everything. And they make here. In, in yes, the all there. It's watchmakers. Can you tell me a little bit about this watch? Because it's got quite a striking face. Yeah. It. Uh, it's a sun it's a sun ray design it's a sun ray design and uh, we make everything the white the luminous everything is made in switzerland and uh, it's a striking it's a bronze case bronzo bronze wow heavy it's really he yeah it feels and really air, strong and yeah. robust and you see the oxidation with the air, so it's getting it's part really of the dark. beauty, it kind of matures yeah. as you wear it. Uh, Joe Ziffert, he was one of the most uh, famous uh, racer from Switzerland. Wow. And he died on a, on a, in England by a car accident, racing li alive, he was killed. And just a guy brought me this with the Lotus wheel and I bought it. Wow. And so I collect That's really this. cool. Uh, you know, it's always nice. So it's all my accounts if you wow. want to make a picture. Wow, so you're you're online as well? Yes. That's super cool. <laughs> really cool. Daniel is just an, one of the most interesting characters I've met. I mean, to be honest, when you if you ever visit Zurich, you will meet people like that. People with amazing stories, you know. And he introduced me to his son. His son was amazing. He travels all around the world. Um, and they, they're just so passionate about what they do. They're passionate about watchmaking. What I remember he said to me, and this is something that resonated with me. He said, I don't sell watches. I collect people. I collect people. I learn about people. I get to know people. And they get to know my watches. It changed me as well because it, 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 he taught me, I mean, the brief moment that we spent where we looked at watches, um, I realized that, you know, there is more to it than just a bling watch. I mean, he, he wasn't interested in the casing. That was so amazing. He, he didn't care about the outside of the watch. He cared about what was inside. And in a way, that's what impressed me. He cares about what's inside, not what's on the outside. The beauty is within. And that's the thing about Swiss watches. The beauty is within. It may be covered in glass and metal, but that's where the real uh, beauty is. And, and you know that when you feel it, when you know that when you're wearing that watch, how much uh, labor and craftsmanship has gone into that uh, piece of art work. I mean, it's incredible.